In this user guide, we'll be taking a look at how to use Pocket Pro's oscilloscope function. So I've got two Pocket Pro's set up here. So Pocket Pro 1 and Pocket Pro 2. And we'll want to enter oscilloscope mode. So press the measure button up the top right, then select oscilloscope. So now we're in oscilloscope mode. So you can see we've got two channels down the bottom here. So channel 1 and channel 2. So you can switch between the two by just pressing those there. So we'll just take a reading here first. So you can see, since we have two Pocket Pros connected, we can use multi-channel functionality. So these two Pocket Pros are synchronized to each other. So that's why you can see the two different readings there. So we'll select the mode button here on the right. You can change a few different things here. So you can change between voltage and current. So to do that, you'll need to change the switch on the side of the Pocket Pro unit. We'll keep it in voltage for now. You can also change between AC and DC as well. And you can change a couple of different parameters here. So you can change the, um, the voltage height on the graph there. So you can see that on the side changing. Um, and you can also change the time as well. So that's shrinking it there, but we'll keep it as is for now. So you can also pinch and zoom into the waveform here. So you can see that changing there and it changes this number down the bottom as well. And you can also change the height of that. So this is um, just for channel one. So you can see only the, the red waveform there is changing. But if we go into the yellow one or channel two, you can see I can change that now as well. So I'll keep those about the same height. We'll now take a look at the triggers. So I press the trigger button over on the right here. So I've currently really got it in force mode. So if you just press the button, it's just gonna give you one standard reading. So essentially just like a snapshot, but you can put it into free run here. So this is gonna give you a continuous update of the waveform. So you can, change, you can see that changing there. So yeah, if I change the voltage going in, you can see that waveform changing there. So that um, channel one's changing. So we can stop that by pressing the button again. So we've got a couple of other triggers here as well. So one time and continuous. So if you select either of these, you're gonna get this trigger point here. So you can drag that to wherever you want. Um, and once you take a reading, it's gonna keep spinning there until that trigger point is met. So I'll change the amplitude of channel one here until that is triggered. There you go, you can see that's triggered now. And it's a similar kind of deal with continuous, but it's more like free run in that it just keeps going. So it'll keep refreshing and updating. So I'll do the same thing here. And there we go, that's been met now. And it's just gonna keep updating. And you can change it to rising and falling as well. Um, so you just switch that there. So down the bottom right here, we have the functions button. So if you select that, we've got a few different functions we can look at here. So we've got frequency, period, peak to peak, RMS, average, and duty. So you can select up to four of these at any one time, and they'll just show up down the bottom left there. So we'll take a reading now, and you can see we get that information down the bottom there. And if we change to the other channel, we also get that as well for that channel. You can also create cursors by holding down anywhere on the screen and you're going to get this cursor here. So you can tap that and drag it to place it wherever you want. And you can create a second one by doing the same, just holding somewhere else on the screen. You can tap and move that. And you're going to get the difference between the two cursors down the bottom here. And to get rid of those, you just hold anywhere else on the screen and they'll disappear. So I've got a few different buttons over on the left here as well. So you can select that one on the top left to put it into full screen mode. That'll just get rid of all the buttons around the side. Um, you've also got the save button, which is just underneath. So that'll just save your waveform there. You can also press the button, which is on the top of your Pocket Pro unit to do this. So that's saved. The next button underneath is the history tab. So that'll just bring up all your saves. If you press the I button on any of these, it's gonna show your waveform there. So you can pinch and drag this as well. You can also share your readings by selecting this button on the left here and pressing the share button. 
You can save that wherever you like. Save it to your phone, you can email it, whatever you need to do. And then if you want to delete it, just press the bin button that's next to it and then select delete. You also got this torch button as well for Pocket Pro. And I'll just turn on the torch for each unit. So I'll go over to channel two. You can turn that one on as well. And that's how to use Pocket Pro's oscilloscope function.